We scoop out the seed, like so. Do it with the other half. Now that we've gotten all the seeds out, we're gonna need to use some sin, aka yeast. I do recommend people at home do not try this on their own. It's extremely dangerous and should not be recommended to do at all in any circumstances. Dump it in like so. The more sugar or false teaching that we have gives more energy to the sin or yeast as we have. Pour it in like so. So now we are going to close her up. Take some tape, and we're going to tape it closed. Now that we've come inside, we're going to add our melon to the oven. This is like adding pressure in real life, but we're just going to turn it up, make it really fast, close it, let's turn it up to 500 degrees, and give it some time. Back from the oven, careful now, you don't want what's inside to fall. Oh, by the way, bowl from what we have inside. And there you go, folks. Look at that. You just have to water, or not a watermelon, an actual melon, and you make grapes. Awesome, right? Wrong. Unfortunately, these grapes are very much poisonous. The only thing they're good for is destruction. One fun way of destroying them Send your car into neutral and rolling over them. Watch this. So as you see, the only thing this hack is really good for is destruction. You add sin and you add false teaching. It's a very dangerous combination. Don't mess with it. Otherwise, you end up like this. Ew. One last thing. There is forgiveness. But you gotta ask Jesus Christ for that forgiveness first. Amen.